Hey class, Mr. Moedian here with a, uh, another practice assessment problem worked out to help you prepare for uh, Wednesday's test. Here we're asked to write the equation of a line uh, with a given slope of 6, and that line needs to be tangent to the given parabola. So in a sense, this is a, a different kind of problem than we've seen before, one that requires you to really understand the pieces of, uh, uh, of the, the tangent line and also uh, how slope and derivative go hand in hand. So. Uh, we know that our, our final answer is going to be the equation of a line, uh, which we've seen many times before as being in this form, y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And in previous problems, you're given the point, or maybe part of a point, just the x value usually, and you've got to find uh, the slope to complete the problem. But here we're given, curiously, the slope. We know that the slope needs to be 6, we just don't know where that is. So we have to really understand that we need uh, an x value and a y value to make this problem answerable. So to do that, we need to figure out uh, where the x, uh, where you have a slope of 6. So uh, the given function is, is in black here, so I'm going to write the derivative, dy dx, uh, just using the same old product rule, uh, sorry, the power rule, so this should be 2x minus 4, relatively straightforward derivative. So derivative uh, is the rate of change, and the rate of change here needs to equal, the slope needs to equal 6. So I'm literally going to set it equal to 6 and solve for x to find where that x value is. So now I have a very simple linear equation. So to solve for x, just a simple equation here, add 4 to both sides. 2x equals 10, so x equals 5. So now we know where the slope is equal to 6. It's at x equals 5. And we'll look at a graph in a moment to, uh, to illustrate this. We're still missing the y value. But now we have what we normally have in problems like this, which is the location, just not the slope. So to find the y value, simply plug it into the original function. So y is equal to x squared, or so in this case, 5 squared, uh, minus 4 fives, uh, plus 3. 5 squared is 25. 4 lots of 5 is 20, plus 3. So negative five, 25 minus 20 is 5, plus 3, which is 8. Right? Wait. Yeah. So y is equal to 8. OK. And now we virtually have our answer. So going back to the red function here, uh, let me try to fill in the pieces down here. So after all that, we have y minus the y value, which is 8, is equal to the slope which we were given, x minus the x value, which we had to figure out. So there we go.